Lately I've been watching some Game Guardian videos on YouTube, and honestly, something's been bothering me. There are so many clickbait creators out there teaching things they don't even understand. They talk confidently, but they don't know what a pointer is, they don't know how memory actually works, and the funniest part, they don't even know the difference between a virtual space and a virtual machine. Yet somehow they're experts. So today I want to tell you the truth. Not to attack anybody, not to create drama, but because I'm tired of seeing beginners confused by bad information. If you want to really understand Game Guardian, you need to understand the environment it runs in. And nobody ever explains this properly. A lot of people think a virtual space is some kind of second android, or an emulator, or a full system. But no. A virtual space is nothing more than a lightweight sandbox. It copies the structure of your real Android, the folders, the permissions, the storage paths, and it creates a fake little environment where apps can run together. It's thin. It's fast. It's simple. But it's also very limited. And here's the part almost nobody knows, inside a virtual space, Game Guardian has to be signed inside the same container as the game. If GG is installed outside the virtual space, or if the signature doesn't match, the sandbox will block it from injecting or reading any memory. That's why people get the classic game not found or no results problem. It's not magic. It's just how the sandbox works. GG and the game have to live in the same virtual bubble or they can't communicate. Virtual spaces work because they fake just enough of Android to make two apps think they're together. But they don't have a real kernel, and they don't have real root. They can't run Magisk. They can't install modules. They can't use LS Post or hide root tools. They're basically Android Lite, good for quick edits, good for simple games, but not a full system. Now, compare that to a virtual machine. A virtual machine is completely different. It's a full Android running inside your Android. It has its own boot process, its own slash system, its own slash vendor, its own slash data, and even its own kernel. It's an entire phone nested inside your phone, like a little Android capsule. And because it's real, it can do everything your real device can do. You can install Magisk. You can run modules. You can hide root. You can install LS Post, hide apps from detection, spoof device data, all the things a virtual space could never do. And for Game Guardian, this changes everything. Inside a virtual machine, GG doesn't need signing tricks or sandbox hacks. It runs with full root access, just like on a rooted phone. It can access deep memory regions, detect processes properly, and bypass a lot of the restrictions that virtual spaces struggle with. Yes, virtual machines run slower, but they're infinitely more powerful. And that's the key difference almost no one explains. Virtual spaces are fast and simple, but limited. Virtual machines are slower, but way more capable. One is like a lightweight clone. The other is a full Android environment with real root power. So here's the truth. If someone doesn't understand this difference, they shouldn't be teaching Game Guardian. I want my viewers to have the right information. If you want real GG tutorials, real memory editing, real explanations, then you're in the right place. This is Sakura Scrolls. Let's continue learning the right way.